It's time now for your weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the South region. This is Fox Sports Outdoor South. Hi everybody, I'd like to welcome you into this week's show. And the show today falls under the category of where have I been? I've been fishing as a career for over 33 years now and I'd like to think that I fished in most of the really good fishing spots around the south and southwest parts of our region. But never once have I heard of a place called Bay St. Louis, Mississippi until now. And it's been my loss because Bay St. Louis, Mississippi is one of the great little tucked away, hideaway resort and fishing locations that really I've seen in a long time. Bay St. Louis is located between New Orleans, Louisiana and Biloxi, Mississippi. It is a quaint little spot right on the shore of the bay. It's got fantastic fishing as you're going to see on this week's episode, but it's also got fantastic dining, great art, fantastic lodging, as you're going to see from a beautiful place where we're going to be staying while we're here. Baytown Inn, owned by Nikki Moon, is a fantastic little spot. We'll show you a couple of quick shots of it here and we will give you the information if you would like to contact them and book your very own stay toward the end of this week's episode. It's a beautiful place. We're gonna take in some of the sights and sounds, and then we're going to be meeting up with Captain Sonny Schindler to do a little fishing for speckled trout and my first time ever to fish for triple tail. So right now, let's get this started by taking you back to the FSN studios for your weekend planning. Overall, the Salooner tables are forecasting promising conditions for fishing activity this weekend. Saturday's outlook is listed as excellent, with the best daylight times beginning at 10.30 in the morning. And Sunday is predicted to have some of the best conditions of the month, with peak action starting around 11 a.m. Look for the sun to rise at 6.22 and set at 8.29. And evenings will be dark with a new moon beginning on Saturday. Stay with us, we're coming right back with fishing updates from around the southeast. Plus, I'll return with Bassmaster Elite Angler Edwin Evers on the Ask the Pro feature. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Costa Sunglasses. See what's out there. By Lose, setting a new standard in fishing performance. Feel the difference. By Strike King Lures, number one in fishing. By Lawrence Electronics. Find, navigate, dominate. Welcome back everybody to Fox Sports Outdoors. We're on the road today and we've made it out onto Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. We're gonna trout fish a little bit. We've got the classic trout rig and I'll show it to you here. It's more like a little short Carolina rig with a little croaker on it. Croaker's like cotton candy to a speckled trout. We're gonna try to catch a trout or two for you. But Sonny, tell us a little bit about this area. Where are we fishing? Jailhouse Reef. Um, you know, as you can tell, it's just a bunch of bunch of busted up concrete but it's kind of kind of neat because you know this is Katrina rubble. Katrina destroyed a, uh, a jail back on land not far from here. Uh, the Mississippi Department of Marine Resources uh, got a lot of this rubble concrete rebar uh, and and crushed it and came out here on barges and built a lot of these structures. We've got them all up and down the coast. They all hold fish whether whether it's speckled trout, redfish, flounder, white trout, black drum. Um, I got one, wow, I got one right oh. here. <laughs> I don't know what I've got, but I got something. They uh, Ooh, he's need a, a net. Too. Yeah. yeah, I do need a net actually. They, uh, they, can, uh, they can certainly save the day on a, you know, a little breezy day like today. There you go. All right, there's a good start for you right there. There's my croaker and there. Now the, the trout here, the, the, the limit and the link limit and, and uh, number limit is what? Uh, you can have 15 per person per day. 13 inch minimum. That one's definitely uh, that one's definitely grease release worthy, uh, as they say. Uh, I don't know if you want to keep them today. No, but... we're we're not equipped. We're on the road for a okay. few days, so we don't we don't have an ice chest or anything well, to take them back. But there is your good Bay St. Louis speckled trout. Back he goes. Let's get you some fishing and lake reports. Here are the Carolinas with English Glover. Hey folks, Captain E here with your Carolinas Report. This week brought to you by Marshalls Marine, located in Lake City in Georgetown, South Carolina. Your bass boat leader since 1969. For all your nitro and bass tracker needs, visit www.marshallsmarine.com. And I'm sitting atop 
the beautiful Inlet Sports Lodge located centrally in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. The Inlet Sports Lodge has some wonderful accommodations and can take care of all your fishing needs right here in Merle's Inlet. Visit www.inletsportslodge.com for more information. And over my shoulder here is the Atlantic Ocean. I'll tell you what, right now along the coast, the mullet and the man Eden are starting to move up the beaches. And guess what? The Silver Kings, AKA the Tarpon, are right there with them. Get out and set up on your local jetty, your local inlet, and get ready for some of the best chances at catching one of those tarpon this time of the year. Fish in the 80 to 150 pound class are not uncommon. Get a big spinning rod set up, Make sure you've got something in the 10 to 13 alt circle hook set up, float out a bobber, put live bait on it, follow some big schools of bait around, and just keep your eye out for that Silver King and for a catch of a lifetime. Also along the beach right now, on the, as far as the piers go, in South and North Carolina, we're starting to hear some great catches of bluefish. We're hearing of some black drum and also of the flounder that are starting to show up in the surf right now. The freshwater side of things, my friends up on Lake Tillery are telling me that they are doing great right now with catfish. Targeting them early in the morning, late in the afternoon and into the night. They're catching some 40 to 60 pound class catfish this time of the year. So make sure you get out there and beat the heat. And talking about beating the heat, Lake Murray right now, the stripers are starting to school early in the morning and late in the afternoons. Get out for some great top water action on these stripers and beat the heat. Anything you want to target right now, if you get out early in the morning, late in the afternoon, you're going to have your best chances. This has been your Carolina's Report, this week brought to you by Marshalls Marine. And remember, work smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. Captain Sonny just got a call from Captain Tom Marzoni. He's out in the bay, the wind's calmed a little bit, and he spotted two big triple tail underneath some crab traps. We're going to go out there and see if we can catch one of them. This could be some spectacular stuff. You don't want to miss this. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Barry, in between the two poles, yeah. uh, there's a triple tail right in between them. Um, we've got a live shrimp. We're going to just put it near them, try not to hit them on the head, bring it as close as we can to them and uh, hopefully get him to bite. All right, let's see what happens here. Right, he was right in between them when we saw him, so that's right where we're gonna put it. So okay. you gotta reel it right up there and then so stop let it. Let it sit, and if he's there, there you got he it. Is. You got it. Now, now one thing you wanna do too, and, and, and you with this, with this GPS trolling motor, is we can sit is we can sit and see if he's got any friends. Got him. There we go. All right. All right. There is the first triple tail I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back, everybody. You're on Fox Sports Outdoors today. We're out on Bay St. Louis, and uh, we are triple tail fishing right now. There's speckled trout, redfish. There's lots of different species, but I had never actually caught or seen a triple tail before. So we ran out here, and as you saw, uh, this is Captain Sonny Schindler and uh, Shore Thing Charters with us, and he ran down and actually spotted that triple tail visually um, right on those two poles that you saw. There's what a triple tail looks like. He's gonna go back, but away he goes. See you, partner. All right, well, <laughs> we got, we're gonna get cleaned up and get some stuff going back here and maybe catch another one for you, but we got you some triple tail action there. Right here at Bay St. Louis, right behind us, here's the bay. The bridge is, is right in front of us here. So we're, we're close by. You got everything you could ever want right there with the marina and the great restaurants and the great location to stay that we uh, mentioned at the beginning of the show. And I'll give you all that phone number at the end. Lots of stuff to do around here. What a great place this is. If you've never caught triple tail before, or even if you have, this is a fantastic spot to do it all for the rest of the summer. Hey, let's get you some more fishing and lake reports from your local region right now. Let's go to Tennessee and Kentucky with Crispin Powell. Hey guys, coming to you live from Orlando, Florida, where I'm here at the ICAST Tackle Show. Guys, I'm down here with Strike King Lure Company and we're unveiling a ton of new products this week. We'd love for you to check them out and go to StrikeKing.com to see what the latest and greatest is from Strike King. But however, I'm here to talk to you about fishing in Tennessee and Kentucky. And right now, the hottest thing in the entire two-state region is this massive mayfly hatch. It's come out of left field. It's this crazy phenomenon. Doesn't happen that often this time of year. However, what it does do is kickstarts the food chain, guys. The mayflies are shallow around shallow cover and willow trees. The panfish are up there. The bluegill are up there. The catfish are up there. It is a wonderful time to take a child 
take your girlfriend, make your wife happy and take her fishing. It's a lot more about catching than fishing right now. Aside from that, the nighttime bass fishing bite is still really, really good. The hottest lake I'm hearing about right now still is Percy Priest in Middle Tennessee. Some big catches of bass coming. Big spinner baits, big worms, dark colored crankbaits and jigs are gonna account for most of your bites. A lot of the same places they are in the daytime, those shallow bars next to deep water. Just go be careful, put your lights up where your light is. Aside from that, the white bass bite is tremendous across the region right now. Go early and go late, low light conditions and just look for birds and look for fish breaking. Not hard to find, not hard to catch. Another great opportunity to take somebody that's just getting into the sport. Aside from that, the next best fishing opportunity right now is the reports I'm getting from Lake Cumberland and the Cumberland River below the dam. Catch you some bait, go early and catch a giant striper. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but it's held up for much longer than we, anybody expected. Look, the weather's hot, but the fishing is just as hot. Go early, go late, go at night, just be careful, just go. Guys, God bless, we'll see you on the water in Tennessee and Kentucky. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Exide AGM Marine Batteries. Starts like new, stays like new longer. By Gene LaRue and Bobby Garland Lures. With our baits, a good day of fishing is in the bag. By Motor Guide, trolling motors engineered for anglers. And by Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. Welcome to the big leagues. Back everybody, Fox Sports Outdoors at Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. We see a triple tail right here. We've got just enough calm on the water that we've been able to come out and look, and we've seen one. Sonny spotted this one underneath this crab trap right here. Oh, he's coming out. He's coming out away from it. He's right. under. He's right under the line. Right under. Got it. Got it. Got it. What a cool deal. Oh, this one's got shoulders. Got him, man. <laughs> look at this. Wow, <laughs> look at that big dude. Good deal. There is a pig. Welcome back everybody. By the way, you're on Fox Sports Outdoors today. We're with Captain Sonny Schindler and uh, we're triple tail fishing right now and that's the coolest thing ever, sight casting for these fish. Now as you saw, that fish actually followed his cork out with a shrimp underneath it from a crab trap. This is a, what, an average size uh, one, a bigger one? This what one's is on, the, on the good side of, uh, of, of above average. So this fish will be about how long? Oh, this one's probably in the low 20s. And he'll weigh what? Uh, I'll give him 10. There is a beautiful fish, and that is some of the most exciting stuff you'll ever do. Let me hold that sucker up for him. Right, right in him. between us so we get a, a good <laughs> shot for you right there. That is the one of the first triple tails I've ever actually seen up close. Seen them on video, seen photos, but never actually gotten to see one caught. I hope to catch one of these before it's over with, but uh, let's let him, we're gonna let him go back. We're, now these fish are make great eating too, by the way, right? Yeah, this this is pretty painful doing this, but we didn't bring any ice, so we'll let him let him go. All right, well, that's exciting. I'll tell you, that'll make your heart pound. Visually fishing for these fish, driving around with our Mercury 154 stroke, it's great. All during the warm weather months, in fact, the hotter the better, but it's good all summer long. We'll give you all the information if you'd like to book your own charter. Come out and do some of this triple tail fishing, but I can promise you that is exciting. Hey, let's get you some more fishing and lake reports from your local area. We're gonna go to Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. Freshwater first with Jimmy Jacobs, followed by Bob McNally giving you this week's saltwater report. Thanks for joining us for the Alabama, Georgia, and Mississippi Freshwater Fishing Report. This week's action is brought to you by the historic Captiva Island Inn, a bed and breakfast with a splash of fun. Located in the very heart of Old Captiva in southwest Florida, the area offers fine beaches, fabulous sunsets, and great saltwater fishing. Come enjoy our year-round outdoor island playground. We're in the midst of a hot, humid, and sweltering deep south summer right now. Air temperatures are soaring, and along with it, the water temperatures are going up. But there's still some good fishing action to be found. July is a good month for catfish, and if you're after a big flathead, there's no better place in Georgia than the Altamaha River. This 135-mile stream runs from the junction of the Oconee and Okamulgee Rivers at Lumber City down to the coast at Darien. Now, it's loaded with flatheads in the 4 to 10-pound range, but don't be too surprised if a 60-pounder takes the bait. You need heavy gear for this fishing. Anything less than 30-pound test is way too light. The top tactic is using a live brim for bait, 
Fish it in the deep holes in the river bends. Now if there's logs or brush there, it's even better. There are 23 public access points along the river, so there's plenty of places to launch a boat or to start a float trip. In Alabama, try the blue catfish action on Gainesville Lake. This reservoir is on the Tom Bigby River in the west central part of the state. Top tactic is tossing cut bait, and the place to be fishing is in the tail race below Tom Bevel Lock and Dam at the upper end of the lake. For some early morning bass action in South Mississippi, try Colin Panther or Jeff Davis Lakes. Both of these state lakes are overstocked with small bass, and the biologists encourage you to keep a limit of these fish. On Colin Panther, that's 30 fish a day, and on Jeff Davis, you can keep 15. This part of the program is brought to you by the state of Mississippi, where the offshore fishing is world class and the inshore fishing is great too. So come to the state of Mississippi for your next fishing trip. That's the true south. Well, saltwater fishing is turned on almost all along the coastal areas. Hot weather has brought up all kinds of bait fish and the fishing is just outstanding. Off the coast of Georgia, they're getting into their third weekend of red snapper season in federal waters. Captain Brad Stewart up in Tabby Island in Savannah has been getting his clients into red snapper one a day of 25 to 30 pounds apiece. But there's plenty of other fishing available too. They're catching uh, trigger fish, lots of amberjacks, barjacks, vermilion snapper, and sea bass. Brad had a charter boat, uh, the Scat 2, with Captain Steve Amek. There were 13 anglers on board, so they were able to, lot to catch a lot of fish. They had 1,300 pounds of fish. Over in Alabama, Mississippi, triple tail fishing is the big news. Our host, Barry Stokes, was recently fishing with Captain Patrick Garmerson in Mobile Bay, and they had, had a great morning catching big trout, two to four pounds around the oil rigs in 12 to 14 feet of water using uh, live shrimp and voodoo shrimp. Uh, on the bottom, fishing deep, they caught a lot of fish, but when that sun got up, they started running the channel markers and crab floats and looking for triple tail, and sure enough, Barry got into, uh, into the triple tail and caught a 20 pounder, and that fishing and how to do it and uh, all the information on Patrick will be available in an upcoming episode of uh, Fox Outdoors. Over Mississippi, there's much the same thing is going on around the crab floats, the coating, floating crab floats. You can catch them on live shrimp and uh, uh, shrimp imitating lures like the voodoo shrimp, DOA shrimp, those types of baits. Well, that's it for the Coastal Fishing Report. Get out there on the water and take a youngster with you when you go. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Right stuff? low price every day by mercury marine celebrating 75 years of marine excellence by strand fishing lines the standard of dependability and by tracker boats it's more than just a boat it's a tracker welcome back everyone it's time for one of your questions to be answered by a fishing professional on the ask the pro feature this week william asks under what conditions will you use braided line for the answer we checked with bass master angler edwin evers I use braided line a lot. It's really a great line because it doesn't have any stretch. It's a great line when you're throwing like walking style top waters like a Mega Bass X Pod or, or a buzz bait, anything up on top of the water. It works really, really well. Uh, and then when I'm flipping, you know, anytime I'm flipping, I, if it's really clear water, I may put a fluorocarbon leader on it. But uh, I really like that braid just because it has no stretch. You get a really good hook set every time. Thank you, Edwin. If you would like one of our pros to answer your question, just visit our website, click on the Ask the Pro link, and send us your information. Now let's see who wins a pair of brand new sunglasses on the Costa Catch of the Week. Hey everybody, we've made it back to the Baytown Inn, a gorgeous place to stay right here at Bay St. Louis. Scramble for a pen and paper quickly because I'm about to give you all the information if you'd like to book a trip to this beautiful location. Right now it's time for the Costa Catch of the Week winner. Someone wins free. Costa sunglasses each week right here on our show. This week's winner is Eric McNally from just across the bay at Biloxi, Mississippi, showing off a 27 pound grouper he caught off the rigs right off Biloxi, Mississippi. If you'd like to enter the contest and have a chance to win your very own pair of Costa sunglasses, just go to our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com on the right side of the front page Click in the Costa Catch of the Week box, follow the instructions, send us your picture, and you could be our next winner. And if you'd like to see all of the Costa frame and lens styles, go back to the front page of our website, click on the Costa logo, and it'll take you right to their website where you can see everything they have to offer, including 
fantastic frame style I was wearing on this week's show called Tuna Alley. This week on the Academy Sports and Outdoors Right Stuff feature, it's the right gear to catch some of these fish that you saw us catching on this week's episode. And it begins with a great rod and reel. This is the brand new Lou's Inshore Reel Series. They make both a bait caster and a spinning reel geared especially for inshore saltwater fishing for all of the species like flounder and speckled trout, redfish, and even the triple tail like you saw us catching on this week's episode. Check them out at your local fishing tackle retailer. Also, I'd like to talk to you about the trolling motor we used. It came in really handy today. It's the Motor Guide XI5. We've got some videos up on our website and on our YouTube channel. This is the Wi-Fi trolling motor. All I had to do was punch one anchor button and it would hold us exactly in the position to make the right cast on the rocks for the speckled trout and on the floating buoys for the triple tail. Check it out on our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. I happen to know several guys who have reached the end of their career and have earned the right to retire. But for some of those fellows, retirement did something very bad to them. They immediately fell into a rut. Every day became the same and life became all about them. They became very selfish. Retirement gives us the right to leave the work field, but not to check out from life or from responsibility. In fact, retirement is a great opportunity to give back, to do something great for our society and to help folks who didn't necessarily get some of the chances that you and I did. Think about that when retirement gets close. Hey, I hope you enjoyed our great trip to Bay St. Louis this week's show. And you can see behind me, this is the beautiful Bay Town Inn. What a fantastic setting right across the street from the beaches, the restaurants, the clubs, the nightlife. Everything is here. It's a quaint little setting. You can look at the information there on your screen if you would like to book your very own room. And a great trip here to Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. And we'd like to thank Sonny Schindler for all of his help in getting us out on the speckled trout and the triple tail on this week's show. If you'd like to book a charter with any of his guides, he's got several great charter captains that work for him. You can contact him at the information you see there on your screen as well. Hey, don't forget to join us for next week's episode. We'll be on Thursday at 6 p.m. with the repeat airing Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. And don't forget, you can get lots more information, lots more fishing news and photos and videos at our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. We've always got the latest episode up on the front page and something brand new right below that. You have all of our past episodes, some how-to videos, Lots of videos right underneath the latest episode. Click in that area. It will take you straight to those pages. And you can follow us on Twitter where you can get lots of daily fishing news and videos and photos. And we've also got our Facebook page up, the Facebook address you see on your screen. From Bay St. Louis, Mississippi, until next week, I'm Barry Stokes saying be safe, have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.